Hello guys and girls listening to this, this is Rihan, today I will show you my manga collection. So, let's check it out. So here, Attack on Titan, a mid club that's like a Saint Seiya figure. Oshin Engi, I have like the complete set that's also called Soul Hunter. I have four Buddha volumes, I never bought all the rest. A couple of Tezuka Kickstarter titles, Crime and Punishment. Uh, some like I pretty much have all the Tezuka Kickstarter titles. I even have the newer one that was made like three years ago and they never released. Alita, the whole box set for the first series. For some reason, the vo this is I haven't opened it. I think for some reason the volume one, <laughs> as you can see, is flipped. Like it's not in the correct order. Then I also have Oh My Goddess. This release I really like. It's it's sad that they only released the first four or five volumes and then they canceled the series. Mario Amiibo and some Saint Seiya figures or Knights of the Zodiac. And this is a PS3 game I bought for like $10 and it had a figure. I'm going to show the figure later. It's Sakigaku Tokoyoku. More Tezuka stuff. And this is, this is a art book that has some illustrations made by Akira Toriyama and Masakazu Katsura. As you can see behind the Alita boxes, I had like a couple of Ahime no Ippo, um, like I don't know how they are called, but these are like huge, like it's like, like imagine a magazine only about Ahime no Ippo. I bought three, they were pretty cheap, so I bought them. I haven't really, well, they're in Japanese, so I haven't read them, I don't know. Attack on Titan Colossal Edition 2, which again, I, I bought it, like a lot of these manga, I just bought them, but I never actually read them. A Taikobo figure, and here, like I have the complete set like uh, of Get Backers, but it's the Japanese edition. Anyway, let's continue. Here is To Lobru, volumes 1 through 18. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Volumes 1 to 3, uh, um, it's 1 to 9. My Hero Academia, Assassin's Creed. GTO, I have like a couple of volumes. Well, I, I, not really, I have like all the volumes, but they are laying around somewhere. Uh, all you need is skill. And also, I, I don't know if you can see, but I have volume one twice. This is actually the, first, the, the the like the same volume, but this is the old edition, almost 20 years old. And this is like a new edition that was printed a year ago. Sadly, the new publisher <laughs> that printed the new edition uh, went bankrupt before even finishing the printing the new edition. Okay, so here is like a, a drawing I made for my webtoon, where it will come in. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, let's continue. So here I have Inuyasha 1 through 15 of Beast Big Sedition, which is 45 volumes. I need to finish this series. Um, yeah, Saint Seiya 1, 3, 2. <laughs> I need to order this later. Uh, so Saint Seiya, it's Knights of the Zodiac. This is the perfect edition, also known as Kansenman. Uh, in the United States, I think you have like a couple of titles that are released like this, like Full Metal Alchemist, Monster, um, 19, no, 20th Century Boys. Pretty nice releases. Here I have Pet Shop of Horrors 1 through 10, but I'm missing number 5. I guess I just never buy it, bought it. I might just check it out later on eBay or something. Uh, Nisekoi 1 through 4. And I Love You, it's a title made by Kena Kamatsu, the creator of Love Hina. I really love Love Hina. I never, like a lot of mangas, as I said, like I bought them but never actually read them. So I have these volumes for like 15 years probably. I haven't even, I don't know if you can see, but check, check it out. Like they are not, they are not even open. So yeah, I need to, I need to find time to read them sometimes. Um, here are a couple of jump issues. Like This is the first issue of Saint Seiya. This is the first Shokuki no Soma issue. And I'm gonna show you some of the manga I have here, but the problem is I have like a lot of manga in the back. So the Gami Bashi, I think I'm missing some volumes. I think the series is 20 volumes long. Uh, I'm gonna be careful here. Beat the Bundle Buster. It's sadly, it was, it was on a hiatus for like 10 years, but now they continued, but I hope I mean, I don't think Beast is going to continue releasing it, but maybe, who knows? Yakitate Japan, I have the complete set. In the bag is, you know, volume 14 to 24, etc. Um, oh yeah, this is actually, yeah. So this is the complete manga. Some more jump, more jump. 
so here I have like a lot of other volumes I'm gonna show you so this is the complete set of project arms I actually bought like volumes 1 through 17 on eBay for like very cheap like probably less than $30 so I had to buy them and then I bought the others um, Saint Seiya episode G so this is like a, a spin-off of Saint Seiya or Knights of the Zodiac Blue Exorcist I have volumes 1 through 21 I think I'm a hero I have the complete set Cross Game by Mitsura Dashi I think I haven't read a lot, like a lot of these books, they are new. Excel Saga, 1 through 14, I think. Sadly, I checked and some volumes are pretty hard to find, so I might just have to not continue the series, I don't know. But that said, like 1 through 14, I probably bought it for less than $20. Um, Tokyo Ghoul and Resident Evil, uh, the complete set. Uh, Resident Evil Mar Marquara Desire, something like that, the series is called. Um, 20th Century Boys, 1 through 9. Well, actually, 2 through 9. I, I lent number 1 to a friend of mine and he never returned it. Uh, Captain Tsubasa, Blood Latin. These are, these are like the series I haven't really completed. Uh, Orange, I am missing one volume, but it's gonna arrive soon. Assassination Classroom, Summary 7, um, the Psychic Detective Giacomo. So that that that's a complete set. I think I just finished the series, and I'm gonna show you what's, you know, in the other part of the of my bookcase. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. So this is like a very funny. Let me show you pretty quick before I. Oh well, here is goes in the shell. But anyway, I'm gonna show you later. But here, this is a pretty funny book because you like you open it and you know like a pop-up book, you know, and actually like characters move and stuff. So it's a pretty fun book of One Piece. So, yeah, this is the box that contains, I think it's the entire series of Get Packers. But as you can see, it's pretty, pretty dusty. Let me turn off the, okay, so here without lights, I don't like, it's pretty damn dusty. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Get Backers. The complete set. Uh, Japanese. I don't really know how to read Japanese, but I think the Tokyo Pop um, series, like, it never finished, I think. And I saw this for, like, pretty cheap, like, probably less than $20. And I said, like, okay, so, like, let's just buy it. Um, yeah, as you can see, like, this is pretty damn dusty. This is a Takum Titan. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna have to clean it up later or something so let's continue so here is whistle it's a very good shonen manga it's soccer and it's very good definitely recommended uh here i'm gonna move it a little bit so you can see um i have more whistle wow so there are three rows i didn't think so but as you can see here i have the prince of tennis here I don't know if you can see it, but well, there it is, the Prince of Tennis. But I didn't think I had three rows, but here it is, the Prince of Tennis. I'm missing like five volumes. I'm gonna buy them later or something. Um, well, without light, it's pretty bad, but Dodging Work, the complete series. And Limit, volumes through to six. I'm missing on, on volume number one, so I have to check that out later. Uh, by later, I mean, you know, other day, uh, cause right now I'm kind of busy. Just decided to show you guys my collection. Um, let's continue. So here I have the complete GTO, the early gear set. Like these were pretty hard to find some of them, but luckily I got them all. Ayori Aoshi, which by f by the way, for 15 years, like I was missing volumes one through three. Uh, actually, there is another manga, Otogo Soshi. I got it for like very cheap. I really like to buy cheap manga, you know. <laughs> um, goes in the shell, as you can see, haven't really opened them. You know, here, let's, you know, they are still new. Dragon Ball 
Cancer Man. So this was a Spanish release from Spain. From Spain. Bought them like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I never finished it. But now in Mexico, they are releasing the same release, the same edition. So I'm going to buy them. Um, some Japanese books. This is like a Kaiji data book. And I know that you have Kaiji data books. So it's just like a book with a lot of information. I don't even, you know, read Japanese, but it was like pretty cheap. One Piece Gold. I bought this in, in Japan when I went back in 2016. This is a Tekken Cricket uh, art book. I know in English you call it black and white, I think, but it's like, you know, pretty nice little art book. The Amazing Spider-Man one. Some other omnibuses and Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, the hardcover edition. Also, this not Amazing Spider-Man volume was, uh, well, it's a little, it's a little, uh, but well, anyway, it was signed by Stan Lee back in like 2015. He went to Monterrey and I went there so he could sign it. So yeah, this is a, a special edition of uh, Hoshinenji last, last volume. So this is the, the perfect edition, the last volume. Pretty nice package, was difficult to find. But yeah, like, look at this. The pages and everything, I'm gonna turn off the camera. The, the As you can see, it's the illustrations are, everything is pretty nice. And actually I'm gonna show you something very quick. This special edition came with a plushie. So, and here is the plushie. And uh, I'm gonna show you the figures I have, like, they are here. This is the plushie that came with the special edition. Pretty nice. Okay, so also this this figure and like all of these figures I show you are a part of a set called 50th Anniversary of Shonen Jump or something. A lot of the titles I haven't even read, like Haik you haven't read it, Kinikuman, uh, Kuroko no Basket, and I think that's, well, Kochikame. I haven't actually read it, but this guy here, he is from this game I bought. He came with this game and I got it for like $10. So it was nice because I, I actually have read like a lot of Otokoyoku and I liked it. Um, but anyway, let's continue. So before I continue showing more manga, I want to show you guys and girls the art books I have. So these are old art books. Uh, they were printed by Beast Media. Uh, this is like a data book, I think. Not completely sure. Uh, Naruto anime profiles. This must be old, like from I don't know when, like probably 15 years ago or something. The color walks. I know there is a new edition. I need to buy them because I really love One Piece. This is an art book commemorating the 25th anniversary of Jump. So it has like a lot of old stuff. It's probably from like 25 or some years ago. But yeah, as you can see, it's like a celebration of Jump and stuff. Has color illustrations of uh, a lot of Jump series. So this is 4C by Masakazu Katsura, and it has like, let me show you pretty quick. Um, well, I want to show you. Let me just. So those are my dogs, <laughs> by the way. Uh, so anyway, well, it's a struggle. It's difficult. Okay, so here it is. Um, so 4C has three art books in it. Which, because Masakazu Katsura is like a, one of the best manga about love manga. You know, if you haven't read Is or Video Girl I, totally recommend it. This is Video Girl I. It's a great series. I really liked it. So here is our side, which is about heroes, because Masakazu Katsura also likes to draw about heroes. And I am going to show you very beautiful illustrations and shadow lady which is like one of his one shots i guess or something let me show you a little bit about it yeah it's basically a one shot katsura did um so here i have the full metal alchemist book uh, art book uh zelda i only have this first zelda art book so i need to buy the others this is this is one of my Yogamushi Pedal, I really love it. I bought this art book in 2016 when I went to Japan. And I went to a book of and it was pretty cheap. So yeah, 
pretty nice art book. I really like the colors. Like, for some reason, this dude, like, he... Uh, yeah, Watanabe, something is his name, but... I, I really like how he draws, even though he's kind of sketchy looking. Uh, the Weekly Jump 30th Anniversary art book. Um, so, yeah, illustrations from different authors of Jump. Whistle, the manga I just showed you a little bit about. Lucky Man... Which, by the way, I don't know if you know, but supposedly the guy that made Lucky Man, this manga, is the creator of uh, Dead Note. Supposedly. That's one of the theories. Um, let's continue. So, Dermond in Evangelion art book. And this is Akira Toriyama's exhibition art book. It was probably made like in 1995 or something. It's like a very thick art book and it has like a lot of different... Yam illustrations, but what is very nice is that it's ha it has, you know, English and also Japanese. Like you have the Japanese here, but you also have the English, so it's pretty nice. Uh, and this is one of my favorite art books, Putitakitu, <laughs> weird name. This is by the same guy that made Hoshinenji, but like it's beautiful, beautiful. I really like his illustrations. If you haven't read Hoshinenji, this manga here, Hoshinenji. Well, it's backwards with Hoshinengi or Soul Hunter. You need to read. It's one of my favorite manga. Look at these illustrations. But these are these were released like 10 years after the manga ended. But look at this. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but like he, this is a lithography. So, wow. Look at this. Amazing art book. I guess right now it must be pretty difficult to find. It was difficult to find back in... I don't know, 2005 when I first bought it, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, and here is a manga, uh, Kamui, The Land of Kamui. So this was a manga, Jake Thompson, I think is the name of the dude. He was an editor of Shonen Jump, I think. I might be confusing or maybe uh, remembering wrong, but this guy basically, he gave a lot of volumes for free on Anime News Network and he sent me this one, so thank you. <laughs> but I doubt you're watching it, right? Uh, let me... I'm going to show you a little bit more about my collection. Of my collection, but I need to... Uh, you know, put some volumes together again. So, let's continue. Behind Beat, The Vandal Buster and Tegami Bachi. Oh, by the way, I'm missing some Tegami Bachi volumes. I need to write out, out. I have the complete set of Firefighter Daigo, volumes 1 through 20. Uh, let me show you, because I think the different... Okay, so yeah, I have all 1 through 20. Sadly, Firefighter Daigo, I don't know why it's... Like, it has two different editions, but I have this edition here, which is the same, so I should put it there. But yeah, weirdly enough, it has two editions. And Pretty Face, which is like a nice comedy manga. And I think there is nothing behind these jumps. Yeah. Well, actually, okay, no, nothing. Jakita to Japan only, which I already showed you. Last but not least, we have Iron Gokjan, which is like a cooking manga, basically, like Shukugeki no Soma. And I think the name of this series is Defense Devil. Yeah, I haven't read either of those. Like, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm just like addicted to buying manga. Um, but yeah, this is the manga I have in my shelf or on my shelf. I don't know. Like. Um, I'm gonna show you more manga in a little bit But yeah, these are the manga in my shelf. So let's continue here. I have a couple of DMP titles digital manga publisher They printed uh, some Tezuka titles using Kickstarter and They haven't fulfilled a Kickstarter campaign. They made like in 2017. So yeah uh, Just be careful with them Anyway, Devilman 1 and 2, Message to Adolf by Osamu Tezuka, Manga Theory by Hirohiko Araki, the creator of Jojo, Blade of the Immortal, a couple of volumes, I'm missing, I have one, one through five, so I'm missing some, the Dead Note like novel, Blame, volumes 1 and 2, the big edition, this is the Mexican edition, I think, the one in the United States is thicker, Soku Hoshi Mamoru Ino, so this is like a manga about dogs, it's a pretty cool manga. I'm gonna recommend it. Hopefully this doesn't... Yeah, it's like, like a pretty nice edition. Very beautiful. And it's about... This is the sequel, actually. I have, the, I have volume 1 laying somewhere. Um, 
I'm gonna try to put it later because I don't wanna, you know, Tokyo Babylon, Ray, Ray Yard. My Ignite, well, here in Mexico, we call them Las Guerreras Magicas, so uh, Car Captor Sakura. But anyway, so let's continue here. I have Helsing, volumes one through 10. Zelda, um, volumes one through 10, but it's two in one, the, the, the one in two edition, the two one in two, the two in one edition. Uzumaki, some Jojos, more Junji Ito. Uh, yeah, by the way, these are the only two volumes of Jojo I currently have. I need to buy all the others. Uh, I'm a little behind in Jojos. Berserk, one through 39. This is the Mexican edition. As you can see, a lot of these are new edges. We have a Black Friday sale, uh, but here it's called El Buen Fin. That was in November, so I bought them for like pretty cheap. Like, how cheap? Like less than $3 per volume, I guess. I know you have like a new edition of Berserk, which is nice, Dark Horse did it or something. But I think I'm happy with this one for the moment. I have all the Gantt volumes, Gantt's volumes. I think the others are behind, so I'm gonna show you later. Evangelion. Evangelion, I don't know how you say in English, 1 through 14. Ultimo, okay, so damn it, Ultimo might be <laughs> the series. Like, it's painful because I bought these eight volumes for like $20, but then 9, 10, 11, and 12 are super out of print. And I could have bought them. The, the, the thing is, I'm pretty stupid. I could have bought them. They were in stock like, I don't know, six months, even six months ago they were in stock, but now they are um, impossible to find. So I might just have to sell this because I'm not gonna pay some crazy prices for the volumes I'm missing. King's Game, okay, so this manga, I bought it for pretty cheap um, to support a new publisher here in Mexico, but it sucks. It's probably the worst manga I have ever read. I don't recommend it, it's very bad. Uh, another from the same publisher, I haven't read it yet. You're right, Nikki. So, sadly, I'm missing volume two and it's out of print. It sucks. Uh, Deadman Wonderland from the same publisher. It's finished. Bojur and Bojur's Inc. So this is a manga I, I was curious about. Sadly, there is only one and like volumes one through three published. It's an old manga. And yeah, I bought it. It's nice. It's a nice story if you want to check it out. Real one through 13. I need to continue. I think there are no new volumes. This manga, the Ebb. Uh, so this is upside down. Uh, but it's a manga about war, I think. The Vietnamese war, I think. Uh, Futaba Kun Change. So this is a manga I had I had wanted to read for a long time and, and I bought it for... I guess I bought it for cheap. I don't really buy manga for <laughs> expensive manga, uh, in, in case you haven't noticed yet. But yeah, what I don't like is notice how the first six volumes are like this large and then volumes seven and eight. Like, let me show you. See? Like, it's so weird. Like, I don't know what happened. Look at the difference. But, well, at, at least the publisher finished it. To finish uh, here behind Helsing, I have uh, some Roni Kenshin volumes, an extra GTO Early Years Volume 1, Mega Tokyo. So, this is an Spanish manga. Well, it's like, you know, it's Japanese, but it was printed in Spain. Say hello to Blackjack. It's a very good medic. Like, it talks about medicine and stuff. In Tama, a couple of volumes. And, uh, yeah, Blackjack. Some Gintama. Yeah, like, some, you know, random volumes. And here I have Saint Seiya, the last canvas. In case you, have, you haven't noticed, Mexicans, we like Saint Seiya. Knights of the Zodiac. So I'm missing volume 13, which I just noticed. Again, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but like this, it's new. I haven't, haven't read it. Like I just bought it, but like, yeah, like it has plastic still. Uh, One Punch Man, I, I'm missing some volumes, but I ordered them like they should arrive soon, I guess. Uh, a Shonen Jump issue one, but it's the special edition, Lane of Zelda. This is an old magazine that I have because like it brings me back Memories. This is from like the year 2000, 2001. Uh, this is a pretty rare, well, it's not rare, but like pretty weird more, uh, manga. Uh, Midori, La Niña de las Camellias, I think in English is Freak Show or something like that. Or Subaki Shoujo in Japanese. 
and Katani Kaiso. This is the whole 26 volume set. Uh, it's from Spain, and it's pretty weird because I'm pretty sure this was only printed in Japan and Spain, and it's such a such a crazy series that I don't know why they printed it. It didn't sell that well, and as you can see, I don't know if you know, but this is from by Koji Koji Kumeta, the same guy that uh, made uh, uh, Sayonara Setsubo Sensei, and I think that's it. Well, in the bag I have uh, like the rest of Gans, but other other than that, like that's it. That's the manga I have here. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of manga. <laughs> I just wanted to show you where I record. This is my setup. Like that box, I put this little poop from Dr. Slump. I put it here and that's how I record because I have a reaction channel and I put the poop and like the box, you know, is never noticed. Um, but anyway, let's continue. Have a couple of more manga to show you guys and girls. So, this is Dr. Slump Perfect Edition. This is from Spain. I live in Mexico. Uh, and I buy it usually, like, whenever there is a sale. Is from Azakazu Katsura. Very nice manga. I don't know if you can see, but these editions are... They are beautiful. Like, they are better than anything I have bought in the United States, even. They are beautiful... Like the the everything about them, como se hace la jump, which is how jump is made. It's a little manga about how jump is made. Weekly jump, more Doctor Slump and Love Ina, and this is the complete set of trade paperbacks of Ultimate Spider-Man, which I guess is not manga, but you know, just wanted to show you Vagabond. Uh, also, if you haven't, please check out my video analysis of Vagabond. I'm making video analysis, I'm reading Vagabond, and I'm enjoying it, so yeah, please check it out. It's, I really liked it so far. So, these are some manga that I found. I read them, I bought them like a lot of, like probably 10 years ago or so, and I bought them for pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure I bought this manga, Mar, March Awakens, something like that, like for, oh, for, 15 bucks, the complete set of 15 books. I'm pretty sure that was the price I paid for it. And I mean, the manga is, it's it's okay. Black Cat, I also have the complete set, it's here. Uh-huh. And again, these are manga that I, I don't know. They are nice, they are okay, but they are not like the best, I think. Also for Black Cat, I probably paid like, I don't know. But I didn't pay much, probably less than $30 for the whole or $40 for the 20 volume set but that was a couple of years ago right now I don't think you can find bargains like that anymore and here I have what else do we have okay so these are spare volumes I have uh, I have real one through eight some things say a volumes I have for some reason but these are library library copies so that's why I decided to buy, uh, you know, a new set because, because yeah, maybe um, I'm planning to sell the library copies. But anyway, let's continue to the last box of manga I have. And let me show you, it's here. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so you say Jatsura, volume one. I, I have only bought volume one. Uh, prison school the first five volumes and the publisher sent me this for free uh, No, that me can't they bill so I'm gonna start collecting it. They were pretty clever Because they sent me one manga for free and now I'm gonna have to Well, I don't have to but I like the first volume so I'm gonna buy it Reservoir Chronicle 1. I was missing this volume since a long time ago Hikaru no Go A weekly jump for some reason I put it here and last but not least, some vol volumes I bought some years ago. Long Wolf and Coop 1 through 6. And Slam Dunk. Some old volumes that Jason Thompson sent me a long time ago. Uh, thanks, Jason. Um, and my main thing in. Some Mexican comic. Uh huh. It's a classic Mexican comic. Um, 
Sadly, they only published like a couple of volumes. And I have them all, but yeah, they didn't finish the re reprint, so that's it. I think that's all the manga I have here. Actually, no, I just remember that behind the box with Long Wolf and Cop, I had a couple of more manga. So these are Dragon Drive, I have the complete series. Um, Astro Boy, I have the complete series, but it's a library edition, so... I'm gonna buy a new edition soon from Spain. And this is the first couple of Kinikuman, the, the original Kinikuman. I have some ultimate muscles. I'm gonna show you in another video, I guess. And some Kimaguri Orange Road. Uh, but sadly, this edition is out of print. It's, super, it's, it's impossible to find the others. I have only the first five. Let me show you. I got all those five volumes, which are like six or seven original volumes for like 10 euros. Uh, but sadly, the, the other left, the other five that are left, they are impossible to find. They were apparently destroyed by the publisher because they lost the rights. So, so yeah, basically I, I bought half a series and the other rest, it's impossible to find. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... I'm waiting for the digital manga print edition because they are going to send it to me because they couldn't fulfill the Kickstarter of the last Tezuka title. So, so yeah, that's that. So no, it seems I had more manga here. So this is a Pokemon Adventures box set. As you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. I bought it like, I don't know, like 10 years ago at least. Mujo to Roji. Uh, I haven't finished the series, I have until volume 14, so have to buy the rest of it, I guess. And Hokuto no Ken recently bought the first volume of the Perfect Edition. It has the opening color pages, everything. Very nice title. I haven't finished it, like I read the first saga or arc, like, I don't know, a long time ago. So yeah, decided to buy the new edition in, from Spain. Hopefully this gets published in English because it's a nice title.